Anthony is joining us here in studio, Agucciardi. And he writes, of course, for his two amazing websites, StoryLeak.com, and he also has Natural Society. And he contributes a lot to Infowars.com and also uh, the great folks over at NaturalNews.com. Uh, but in the last week, we've been uh, reposting and, I guess, syndicating online a lot of his uh, very interesting and informative articles. So I wanted to go over some of those with him and then have him ride shotgun uh, to take some phone calls uh, here with us today. Here, here's a few of them. While we're busy obsessing on planet Trayvon Martin, World War III brews as a nation distracted by Trayvon Martin case. Oh, yes, massing U uh, Br Russian troops. Uh, Israel fired cruise missiles into some of their installations in Syria. Uh, also, Russian uh, military amasses full combat readiness strategic bombers. Japan had to scramble uh, fighters because of it. Uh, that's some of the news. Uh, WTC owner Larry Silverstein sues airlines for billions over 9-11 after $5 billion insurance payout. And then the main reason I wanted to get him on, uh, report GMO activist and independent scientist targeted by military. And, and I, I covered this four years ago when the Army leaked it that Ron Paul and his in the Fed rallies, including an in the Fed rally I had in Dallas, the Army was there in plain clothes. And it said, don't let them know you're there. They may attack you or kill you. And of course, Michael Moore, who I'm not a big fan of, but in his Fahrenheit 9-11, he showed what had already been in the news in Houston. The Army was going to to uh, milk toast peace groups who were baking cookies. And it showed this completely non-threatening group. They had the army and they had police infiltrating them. Totally illegal, folks. But the, you have domestic CIA propaganda. You have all this stuff going on. But nobody watching the big corrupt government. So we're going to be going over all of that today. But uh, first, Anthony, because you brought this up, what is your take on the whole saga and, and now MSNBC host saying white children need to be killed to show them our pain. Yeah, we can have like human sacrifice again. Like, like if that's an idea, not just pay indulgences to, of carbon taxes to Obama and Al Gore to drive cars, but we could actually have federal sacrifices of white children. Maybe feed them into wood chippers up on the, on the, on the Rose Garden lawn. And then Al Sharpton can maybe pull a lever or, or maybe this professor. And then we could just throw white babies in. Uh, like uh, one of the new Black Panther Party guys said one time, he said we should kill the white babies cause, and kill the white women because of the military manufacturing center. So uh, what do you say about that? Uh, well, I mean, in, in your inherent uh, white devilness. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, on Twitter, the rioters say basically kill all white folks. So, I mean, maybe we should have a Times Square type of rally where we just hang all white people. I mean, that's what they want. MSNBC says we need more white children to die to fully understand this. And I guess that's what it comes down to in this mainstream media theater piece. That is a distraction, but we do need to cover it to highlight that. So when people What if people started committing suicide? I bet if they told Trendies, if Obama told white people to commit suicide, I, I'm not exaggerating. I bet 100,000 people would kill themselves. Well, they he, could be, he could be like uh, the uh, Jim Jones, maybe have Kool-Aid. Well, I think, you know, it's white guilt. Maybe they should kill themselves for doing nothing to anybody. I mean, Zimmerman isn't even white to begin with, and that's a whole nother topic. It's like Kim Jong-un. Right. It's, you know. Maybe he's a North Korean spy. Maybe, apparently. But notice also when the lawyers go on Pierce Morgan and everything, they actually absolutely dominate him because they have no actual talking points or logic whatsoever. But the fact of the matter is, again, it is a distraction, first and foremost. While we have World War III brewing, or already commencing, in Russia with 160,000 troops in full combat readiness. But After Russia is crackers, too. Kill them. Oh, everybody needs Russia, to die. Russia, they should all kill themselves. Everybody needs to die. Besides, obviously, Trayvon Martin. So, but bottom line is that, as you would say, Israel went in and blow, uh, blew up the Russian missiles in Syria and then yeah, let's show those uh, anti-ship missiles that were blown up. If you just type in, uh, uh, Israel used dolphin submarine uh, to destroy uh, Russian missiles, it'll pop up. And, and, and undoubtedly, Russian crews on them. Uh, keep going. I mean, that was loving, though. Yeah, so they actually instigated all this, and they act like it's no big deal. And then Russia goes ahead and orders this combat readiness emergency response drill, whatever they want to call it. Putin goes in because he's not going to take that. You know, he's not somebody like Obama that's just going to take that. Well, he's racist. Yeah, you know, he's obviously racist. 
So Israel goes ahead and says, you know, how dare Russia do that? How dare they amass the troops after we blow up their stuff? And Russia's here with these strategic bombers. And I have just interviewed with RT and I hear that society over there is calling for nukes for Israel. They absolutely want to go into war. Uh, they want to go against Israel. And I mean, all of this is brewing and the mainstream media is too busy talking about what Zimmer and Zimmerman ate for breakfast. It's a joke. Maybe they could use those uh, big bear strategic bombers to drop white people on Israel. Maybe and go into the gulags as a response. But yeah, I think it's amazing that we have this, a brewing of World War III, if not something else, a global conflict potentially or most likely. Right out of the Bible, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It is biblical proportions. I mean, if Russia were to attack Israel as it is written in Revelations and so on, I mean, we all know what may happen. And it may, it may mean that we're closer to you know, certain scenarios than we previously thought. I mean, this is massive breaking news. And you did cover it up on Infowars.com when I originally wrote on StoryLeak. So the Infowars and StoryLeak were the only ones actually even talking about this. Besides the Israeli National Post, it's a complete spin article on it, though, that Russia is evil for responding to their blowing up of their missiles, which they, they instigated it. But then it goes into the, the question, really, if Russia was to go up against Israel, the United States would undoubtedly back Israel. And then you actually have a world war scenario. Now, it's not that nothing's happened yet. Russia hasn't done anything fully, but they have full combat readiness troops and strategic bombers ready to go. But Israel actually went and in a hot war, blew up their missile system. So we're facing so many threats domestically and internationally. It's hard to keep up with some people, you know, where it's going and everything like that. But the fact of the matter is now we're struggling against the U.S. military domestically. And they're about to go potentially fight another war. It's, it's, a, it's a war on all sides against the people and the Constitution, which is burning and fueling all of this like coal in the train of tyranny up against the world right now. And then we have our government putting in hundreds of thousands in the last two years of real Al-Qaeda who are engaged in incredible atrocities, just starting a war with Syria, and it's not even in our news. And then the Syrian rebels go in, of course, kill all the Christians, eat their heart for their power. On TV. And that's fine, though. I mean, that's not a big deal, apparently. And then we're living in a twilight zone world where Vladimir Putin says it's wrong that they're eating hearts on TV and our media criticizes him. And I don't live in Russia. I've never been to Russia. No. I'm not a fan of the, the, the Russian system, but Russia is not here taking my country over. Foreign banks have hijacked my country. They're force feeding us GMO. They're trying to force vaccines on us. They're trying to start race wars. What, what do you think is the method to Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan madness? Because that's who runs it. Well, let me tell you something interesting here. This is actually from Bloomberg, but it goes into an NBC report. Taxpayers fund the mega banks with $83 billion per year. Okay, that works from the mega bailouts and different leveraging systems. It's a lot more than that. That's just one funding. That's just on paper. Okay, that's just the very minimal amount, $83 billion publicly on paper. But the QE3 is 80-something billion a month. Oh, it all stacks up way higher. But this is just the taxpayer dollars here, $83 billion that goes into the government funding that ultimately goes to the banks. But then NBC reports that it was in the back of the news, I found it had about 12 shares on Facebook, that the banks then take that cash and use it to finance the Mexican drug cartels publicly, 100%, and terror cells, known terror cells inside the United States, yet we still continue to fund them with the 83 billion and the more amounts of cash that you're talking about every single year. So what's going on? And that's apparently, they claim, that's pretty much all of their profit. But see, I don't need to respond to any of that. I could just call you racist. You could, and I obviously am, because I'm against big banks and tyranny of all kinds, and also I'm against racial profiling, which is what's happening. I mean, when Rachel Gentel goes on Pierce Morgan and says certain things, they just clap because she's black, and that's the... Point. Well, no, she said he was obviously a... Uh, gay rapist. A, a, gay, a gay pervert. And yeah. Nancy Grace says that, you know, he's a... Ta uh, Zimmerman's a Taco Bell-loving, churro-eating, you know... Blank, and I mean that's perfectly fine. Though you can insult Zimmerman because he's a he's a white Hispanic, so that's perfectly fine. I tell you what's bizarre about this is, the, the, uh, I, I mean, when you look at Nancy Grace, she's like a cartoon character, yeah. and all she spews. You know, why is she allowed to basically call call Zimmerman a racist name towards Hispanics? I guess anything to whip things up. I guess that's the mission. Well, the real question is, where are the Hispanics? Why don't they care about this? George Zimmerman is a Hispanic. And when you say, yeah, he goes through Taco Bell and eats churros every night, that is racist. If I were to go up and say, yeah, Trayvon loves watermelon and fried chicken, do you know what would happen? 
You know what might happen just because I made a reference to that? But she can say that Zimmerman loves Taco Bell and churros and used race baiting and so on and so forth. And Salon can go out and use the same thing. But we're not allowed to talk about that simply because I guess we're in the right and we have logic on our side. And anyone that makes any sense isn't allowed to use a counter argument to this race baiting garbage. But see, that's what it does. We're not discussing all the scandals, the IRS gate, the NSA gate, telling pro-life groups what they can pray. That, that, that's on record. That's how Hell authoritarian Satan. this is. Yeah, they're chanting Hell Satan down at the Texas Capitol, little heroes, you know, against the pro-lifers. And the answer is, let's just have a big race fight. Well, and you're talking about earlier. I mean, what they are is they're shallow, if anything. They're insulting us, saying we're racist and dumb. They're making it about race, and they're coming down to the point where it's about Trayvon being black. And, oh, Zimmerman was a gay rapist racist. How many things can you pile up on this guy? And then they go out and insult the gay community. You know, everyone's all concerned about being politically correct. They're the most politically incorrect. Well, the politically correct are the only ones that can do whatever they want. Exactly. That's the rule. It, it, it's like an animal farm where, you know, uh, four legs good, you know, two legs bad. It th then becomes four legs good, two legs good. And then it becomes four legs, uh, you know, good, two legs better. Then it becomes, again, two legs good, four legs bad. And the pigs are all now walking around on two feet. It's the same thing. That's all they've got. We'll be right back to get into the World War III scenario and so much more in your phone calls. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate, tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. 
I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence that know this information is true but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Anthony Gucciardi, and he's got a great news website uh, that I just follow every day, storyleak.com, link to it up on infowars.com. They are trying to invoke everything she can. We've got the clip of her saying, oh, he loves his Mexican food every night driving through Taco Bell. What does that even mean? And invoking uh, this uh, racial word that clearly the audio doesn't say, but... Again, it just shows how they can change the whole subject from the entire world of what's happening onto this to then blame the Second Amendment, but also make rights only about race or sex or religion, not about what about a right to not have Agenda 21 shut down our country's industries? What about that right? Yeah, and exactly. And, you know, the whole stand your ground thing isn't even about stand your ground. It's about the Second Amendment. They want to get rid of the Second Amendment entirely. They've said that repeatedly over and over again. Politicians are completely on board with that entire thing. I made a documentary about it called Disarm for your Operation Paul Revere contest. And that's the simple reality is that this is not even about Trayvon Martin at the heart of it in certain ways. It's really about ending the ability to own a weapon. Look at Obama. He said Trayvon Martin could have been his son. Well, I think the media used the 12-year-old Trayvon Martin, but if you look at the actual 17-year-old Trayvon Martin, if that was Obama's son, there's definitely something wrong there, no question. And it's ultimately been about a war on the Constitution, and that's why we have 100-mile Constitution-free zones, as done by the DHS, that extend beyond the quote-unquote border, including the oceans that swallows Philadelphia, Houston, over 100 million people where they don't have the Fourth, Amend uh, Fourth Amendment right so they can search your belongings at any time. So you go down to Houston around here and you don't have your Fourth Amendment right. The DHS can, quote unquote, legally stop you and search your stuff. The Constitution does not apply in Houston, according to the DHS. That's admitted. Amazing. I want to shift gears to Rolling Stone Boston bomber cover sparks outrage. That's from the London Telegraph. Um, and it says that Zohar Zarnev has been featured on the front cover of Rolling Stone magazine, sparking an outcry on social media that, that they're implying that he's a hero. Well, that's not even the big issue for me. It's that it says the bomber, the bomber. This guy's pled not guilty. They're on tape going, don't shoot, we didn't do it. They clearly wanted to kill the other brother. They've shot the friend in the top of the head. FBI agents involved have been falling out of helicopters. We know there was a drill. And he, his brother was working for the CIA. This has all come out. And then I've got a clip coming up after the break where the five last Friday said anybody that says free him or investigate, he's innocent. Because they're acting like people are saying free him, he's a hero. No, the group saying free him are our listeners who've done the research. I've been contacted by their lawyers. They're trying to get a hold of him. I mean, it's clear he is a patsy. They shot that boat up trying to kill him. And then the media got cameras on it so they couldn't. He got out and there was 500 bullet holes or more in it. And then he's suddenly talking next, his throat's cut out. But who knows what he's going through? And he says, not guilty. And it's like, how, oh, how dare him try to get a free trial? What do you think's going on with this? Okay, here's the reality of this 100%. And I was right with you from day one covering the Boston bombings up all night, literally two nights in a row covering this stuff. Because I find that when you watch the news at 2 a.m., you get the real information. And that's the bottom line. But the fact is they're using uh, Sarnev to basically go after this anti-hero. And sure, they're putting it on the cover, and that is encouraging more people to go and kill people. But like you said, the main thing is that when they locked down Boston, and I had readers actually sending me live feeds of 
troops coming into their house and stuff like that. When they locked down Boston and went on this witch hunt for the brothers, what happened was people actually started cheering the abandonment of the legal system, the abandonment of the Constitution, and that's exactly what they want. And Politico says now that's a routine thing, that cities will routinely be shut down now to search for terrorists. So what's happened is people are now applauding in a 1984-like scenario. They're clapping. They're screaming. They're so happy. Please take away our Constitution to get the And that's the PSYOP. They really PSYOP that and then project that idea to then sell the rest of it. And now police, oh, fireworks got shot off in Las Vegas. We'll shut down your whole neighborhood and search your houses. They're setting that precedent. Well, did you see that one city with the image that a reader had sent to me, actually? And, and you guys posted up. It, was, it went viral on your website, Infowars.com. And it was 4th of July park rules, fireworks banned, grills banned, no dogs, no pets, no children after a certain time, no yelling, no screaming, no music. It was just everything. And they had cops search the people when they walked into the park for 4th of July. All bags, coolers must be searched, it said in bold red letters. Your freedom is a thing of the past. Absolutely. Yeah, there it is. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com but when you're actually following things, Anthony, who's here in studio with us, Anthony Gucciardi of Story Lake uh, website, when you're actually paying attention to all of this, you can see the drill, the intelligence operation, the stand down. Then they say, don't talk about the drill. Don't look at the photos of the contractors. Uh, and you just walk through the entire scenario and then they kill the one brother, try to kill the other, uh, kill the family friend uh, who had also been going overseas with the older brother who was part of a CIA-funded group. And they say, well, he's with, from Al-Qaeda in Chechnya. That's run by the West on record. Look at this. FBI bars release of autopsy info on Boston bombing suspect's acquaintance. They go to his house. They shoot him in the top of the head. They lie and say he attacked him. Later, they admit he didn't attack him. And then now we're not going to release his autopsy info. They will, uh, they will not release the autopsy info uh, on uh, Michael Hastings. By the way, big Michael Hastings development, and, and then we'll get back into this. I, I got a call at about 5 o'clock yesterday by um, Staff Sergeant Joseph Biggs, who was really good friends with the Rolling Stone associate editor whose car blew up three, four weeks ago in Los Angeles. And he went to the funeral He's friends with the wife, Mrs. Hastings, who was a speechwriter for Condoleezza Rice, by the way, and works in the Bush White House. And he's this big award-winning reporter, and you've got the whole story about what happened to him that I won't repeat. But he said, I'm going into hiding. They're coming after me. We're, we got feds visiting friends, family. They're probably going to raid BuzzFeed, uh, get a lawyer, a biggest story ever, CIA. I'm going underground to break it. Car blows up, 4 a.m. The wife goes to the funeral and tells Staff Sergeant Biggs, I'm going to bring these people down. She called him up yesterday, and I'm not at liberty to tell all of it, because I announced I was going to send Biggs, pay for it. He didn't have the money. He's in college out of the military after eight years or whatever. And I was going to send uh, investigative journalist Wayne Madsen there, and I was going to send David Knight there and Rob Jacobson there. She called up. She was texting and texting, going, don't do this. Respect my wishes. Don't come investigate. Then he calls her number, and she's crying in the background. Her friend answers and says, she's crying. Just please don't do this. There's no doubt they've been threatened. And he said that. When he went to the funeral, the friends and family were like, oh, we're scared. No, the feds did come. We're not going to say who. 
Because they see the feds on TV saying we never visited them. They know they came. They're freaked out. They know. I mean, she thinks they killed him. And then she's so scared, I guess, for her child. Do you do you respect her? We're going to give it a week. We're going to see what happens. But it's not just about her husband. It's about journalists and the media. And it's about, you know, just because she says stand down or just because she says don't come do this because she's scared. Do, does everybody have to back down? And then where's the media? They clearly blew his car up. They're coming after me. I'm going into hiding. Biggest story ever. Boom. And then now they're suppressing the police report. And they did cremate the body without permission. That's illegal. They, I mean, so, so, uh, Anthony Gucciardi, what is your take on this? Exclusive here. I've never talked about this before, but I'm going to do it because when you said that, this story pretty much uh, sent chills down my spine. During the Boston bombings, I was in communication with the guy who told the Alabama media or, uh, news, news post, I don't know what it's called, alabama.org or something. He said there was a drill on the day of the Boston bombing. Yeah, that was the TV station. Right, the TV station, but he, he told the actual- We talked to him and he got threatened. Right, no, I, yeah, I did the interview with him. I did the exclusive, I called his cell phone. I did like three hours of research online. I got his cell phone from a, a college basketball thing or something. I called him, he, all of, the, of all the people, BBC, NBC, CBS, he called me back. I don't even know why, but he did. And he called me back and I did the report with him. I put it on YouTube and it's, That's got, right. yeah. it's got a ton of views and you featured and everything like that. But I'll tell you what, I emailed him again and I said, hey, you know, I would like to talk more about this. This is a huge breaking news. I actually asked if you would go on your show and everything. I remember, and yeah. He says, I can't talk about that anymore. I don't No, I'm not ever talking about that again. Please take down the interview. Don't ever talk about that ever again. And the college emailed me and asked me to take the video down and everything like that. And I responded, and I said, you know, what happened? Did, did you get threatened? You can talk about it because they might actually kill you if you don't actually go and speak about it. And the college person said, don't ever talk to us again. You're a conspiracy theorist. Um, Alistair is no longer speaking to any of you guys. And remember, he told the TV station that, he told a radio station that, and then you had more detail. And he obviously got threatened. He obviously got threatened. And what's amazing is he wasn't some conspiracy theorist, as they would have you believe. He said that he was so happy there was bomb sniffing dogs there and everything and violating the Constitution because he wanted to catch the terrorists. And we now know there was a drill before that day, and they had one planned also, where a patriot group was going to bomb it. Exactly, and that's one of the things I covered too from the Boston Globe in the back of the paper. I found it had one Facebook share. None of these things are ever shared and no one talks about it. They had a, a fake group called Free American Citizens, I believe it was. Nothing worse than them. And they were supposed to blow up the whole entire thing and kill everybody. And they ran multiple, they were going to run multiple drills of that exact scenario. They were going to use backpacks with amateur explosives to kill everyone. And then I literally say that. I say, this is from the Boston Globe. You put it on Infowars.com and people trash us and say that we're talking about drills that don't exist. It's but it turns Boston out they did a drill of the Boston Marathon bomb two years before. They were doing drills before of it being bombed. And then now we learn there was the Patriot group. That's if they got caught, they were going to run with that as the cover. It's always the same story. And everyone was, everything was leading up to a right wing extremist group. So Remember, they had the guy at the, at the courthouse. It's him. We were right. Yep. And then all of a sudden, they surround it with armored vehicles. And so they could sneak the guy out and go, that's not it. We're going with another plan. And the CNN then analyst, they fish Saudis out of the river. And the CNN analyst on that day said it has to be a right-wing extremist. Everything was set to the point to where it was going to be blamed on a right-wing extremist. How mad do you think we are? Uh, how mad do you think uh, the globalists are going to get if we continue to expose them? They are going to lose, ultimately. I mean, teaming up and coming together, these alternative news sources like we've never seen before, no bickering, no wasting time, infighting garbage. We're coming together, we're just blasting them. I mean, we're hitting them like a train right now. I mean, they can't even handle it. The mainstream media is so irrelevant. How mad do you, do you think they are when what we call the Kraken? In fact, will you hand me that, uh, uh, Anthony, right there, that painting? I've never shown this on air before, and I apologize. Since I'm going to bring this up now, for TV viewers, this cool. is the Kraken, ladies and gentlemen, sent to us by an artist, uh, because I uh, dubbed Dan Bodondi, our East Coast reporter, as the <laughs> Kraken in Clash of the Titans. They say, release the Kraken. When he went and took over three press conferences, they had Secret <laughs> Service come on video and threaten him. He said, I'm not afraid and didn't back off. How angry do you think the globalists are 
that we absolutely took that over from them. Probably about as angry as that loser kid who screamed at Dan for actually trying to go and reporting something that was real. But I think Dan did an awesome job on that and a lot of exclusive information that we would never otherwise would have known if he didn't go out there. And it's, it's sad though, think about this. Dan of InfoWars was the only guy to ask any real questions. If we didn't have InfoWars, we didn't have other alternative news groups, wh where would we be? Oh no, we the FBI no pointed their fingers at over 100 reporters and said, you don't look at anything else. And you know what? They did what they were told. They all do. Uh, no one's covering Hastings. I mean, th this is crazy. Thank God we're still alive, though. Well, let me tell you something. I've been on mainstream media before, and it is literally all scripted. They sit down. I, I came in here. We came right in. We talked. We didn't even talk really about what we're going to talk about. It was just all boom, 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 you know? Mainstream media, they'll sit you down and say, what are you going to talk about? Okay, specifically, what points are you going to talk about? And if they don't like something, no, that, we're not going to talk about that. Or oh, they'll yeah. Cut you off air like they did with Pierce on you. They'll cut you off air if you're not following the script, if you're not following the monologue of BS and garbage and spewing, you know, illiterate dogma then you're off the air, period, and they're not gonna have you back on. Even though the ratings are super good and people want real information, which they do crave, and that's why we have record views of all these mainstream uh, alternative news sites and the mainstream media. Yeah. According to Gallup, the trust is pretty much dead and the viewership is dying, no one watches it. So what do you expect to happen? Now they're gonna go from pr propaganda power and they admit the CIA is operating domestically with brainwashing now, just repealed that law, it was already dead. What are they going to do though, as everyone knows that literally foreign offshore banks run the country, they run the paramilitary hit teams, they run the drugs, they run the white slavery, they run the snuff films, all on record, every horrible vice, and they are terrorists. I mean, what's going to happen as we all now, I guess they think they're gonna go directly to troops. Well, I mean, what's already happening with the mainstream media you're talking about is they're becoming a really, really fake version of InfoWars. Look at Bloomberg. They're releasing actual content that is about one one millionth of the truth. And they go, like I was talking about earlier, they released the piece that, yeah, we fund the magic mega banks with $83 billion a year. And why do we do that? And in reality, it's trillions. But they talk about the 83 billion publicly. So then it gets people a little mad, the Occupy Wall Street stuff, but nothing really happens. They don't go into why we're funding the bankers. They don't go into the Federal Reserve System. They don't go into eugenics, which happened to sterilize 60,000 people from 1929 to about the, I believe it was the- And that's all whitewash too. They just came out in California still doing it. Yeah, so it all, it all happens anyway. It's also, also the GMOs and everything which we could talk about. But the fact of the matter is they're becoming a light, fake, phony version of the alternative news, but it's not going to work. Everyone can see that it's- That's right, we forced them now into disclosure, you know, 15 years after, okay, we license plate scan you everywhere. Okay, well, there's a few cancer viruses in that shot, and big it's deal. breaking news. Breaking dun, news. Dun, 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 Pulitzer Prize, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they get a Pulitzer Prize, they get massive views and traffic because some people who don't understand anything, they're like, holy, this is amazing. You know, this is going on now. Alex, why aren't you covering license plate readers? Yeah, exactly. Like, what do you think reads you in a toll road, lady? Yeah. Exactly, and then, and then also the WikiLeaks stuff, they'll cover it like 20 years after it's happened. And, you know, yeah, sure, some of the politicians are corrupt. Oh, sure, Kissinger wanted to overthrow America, get rid of the Bill of Rights, big deal. Maybe we should, it's racist. And also they cover certain things, specifically after you force them to do it on InfoWars and I come over. Or Drudge. Yeah, well, Drudge is an awesome way too. For example, the girl that was uh, harassed and literally beaten by the six alcohol agents, what a useful job. Uh, of the state for buying water for buying water she went and i, I covered that because i found it on this random blog and i said this is this true and i looked it up and it was actually sourced from mainstream media and this was old news no one had talked to it at all i covered it you guys posted it gets up on i guess it was drudge and then everyone's talking about it. it's on every single talk show i was listening to austin radio the other day and they were talking about it we are literally oh no 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 so many mornings i tune into local radio and they're covering my stories and they don't ever our story credit. no 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 credit no credit at all i know how that feels no one ever credits you because they want to act like, oh, the mainstream media is hip and relevant, right, guys? We can make interesting news too, but they steal all their news and then they put a spin on it. They said, oh, it was these liberal alcohol agents that go and attack this conservative girl. Where are you getting that from? It's tyranny all Well, around. see, they have to make it, it's the same thing, left, right, or black, white. It's always about dividing. Like, this happened bad because they're part of the bad group. And, and they don't even use words anymore. It's just all, it should, it, we, the Listen, media. the same alcohol cops in the same state went after that black rapper. I forget his name. We had him on. Yeah. And he was buying the uh, Arnold Palmer tea. And they did the same deal. The truth is they just do that.
They just have nothing else to do. They said there were six of them. Six a federal, I guess it was state actually. State alcohol, alcohol cups. State alcohol, but it yeah. sounds. Yeah, they federal. sell the alcohol there. Yeah, so they sit around, six of them at this place, like a convenience store, and they have nothing better to do. The girl had uh, was in her car, and they bashed her window in and started just assaulting her and just like freaking out. Why not? And then she says, hey, wait a minute. Let me roll down my window. They arrest her and they charge her with two felonies, assaulting a police officer and something else. I think she arrest. should be given the death penalty. She should be killed. And what happened is, ultimately, someone <laughs> reasonable in the government went and said, hey, this is The prosecutor. Weird. Yeah, but the, the alcohol agent said, no, she still should be hit with those two felonies. They are ruthless. They don't give a crap. And police officers email me. No, wait a minute. They care. They care. I mean, they care because they want to hurt her. It's not just they don't care. No, no, no. They want to hurt her and put her in prison for life. They want to ruin her life for buying LaCroix water to go to for a fundraiser for disabled kids. Yeah. How dare her, scum? Well, you know what it really is? And not all cops are bad. We know that, yes. But the fact is, I get a lot of emails and news tips that steroid use and all these drugs are just rampant in the police force and these agents and everything like that. And they're just dosing up 10 times the amount that even bodybuilders do. So, I mean, they're just going into complete rage, going crazy. You know what happens to your mind from a health perspective when you do that? It just completely makes you insane. Like, literally. When I start nothing. exercising a lot, I get more aggressive naturally. I couldn't imagine taking imagine that stuff. Imagine that times a thousand. I mean, people have been on steroids for various reasons, maybe health reasons. They might know what we're talking about. You know, the, the prescribed. Anabolic, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But the fact is that these people are dosed up on so much stuff, not just steroids. We're talking coke. Anything they can confiscate and do real quick from these guys. But you also talk about the training where it's instant shooting, yeah. which is good to save your life unless the guy gets out with his wallet and you shoot him and they go, well, he thought the wallet was a gun. And we see this all the time now. Well, there's no question it's by design, but you can fuel this further by advocating the use of these drugs. And, and it's, it's trickle-down tyranny, as Mike Adams would say. They had the, the, the police chief uh, of, uh, for, uh, of um, Fort Worth a few years yeah. ago come out and say, we all need to take steroids. Yeah, it's a, it's a great thing. <laughs> there was even a documentary that everyone should take steroids because they're perfectly fine. And then the guy's brother died and he retracted the statement. But, I mean, it's, it's amazing how the advocacy is basically do anything that's great for you. You are God. You are amazing. And the government is the only thing that's hard. Well, that's you. the thing. Everybody I know basically goes to the doctor now. And they go, you know what you need is a bunch of steroids. Or hormones. You got to yeah. get it, it's synthetic hormones. And then they turn insane and go crazy. And then what do you do? You put them on SSRIs. It's a whole entire system that it, the, you can go to the government as your dad. You want some birth control? Pay for me, please. Let me go out and have promiscuous sex with whoever I want. The government will take care of me. If I don't want the kid, get rid of it. Or if I'm feeling bad, I'll go to the pharmaceutical companies and free health care for everyone, free chemo. It's a whole system. The government is your dad. You need anything. More and more, big brother is your big brother. Because it's a takeover. Let's go to some calls. I don't want to get into the military being used on groups that are investigating GMOs uh, with Anthony Gucciardi here in studio. I'm Alex Jones, your host. So let's jam in a call right now. Robert, you're on the air. Welcome, sir. Hey, hey, Alex. Uh, God bless you, brother. Uh, I know time's money, and uh, I got a couple of points I want to make. I want you to set up a button on your website for donations. Uh, pick some categories up, Alex. Where you know, I think I we going. have one, but I always forget to tell my guys. I don't think it even goes to a real PayPal link. You know, so much of it, we're busy just covering the news that we don't even get into stuff like that. But, but yes, I will have that looked at, and we'll uh, we'll uh, put one up there. Thank you. For, uh, that's a nice idea, caller. Go ahead. Money is how we fight what's going on. And there's so many people out here like myself that what? Well, what do we do? What do we do? We can send you money. If we can't use your products or don't feel like, we, you know, uh, what to do with them, we can always send money. Put cash. Well, unfortunately, sir, your your uh, your phone is breaking up, but it, it costs a lot to run this operation. I'm spending everything and even money I saved in a full expansion to just really try to go after the globalists because I know that uh, there's no future if we don't beat these people. Well, I was going to say also, you know, Buy the magazine if you want. I mean, some of my articles have been featured in there. I get the magazine. It's, it's really good. I, By the way, we sell this at cost. So this is something that's purely meant, a big color glossy magazine to tool. wake people up. Plus, this current July issue has 10 bumper stickers in it. Yeah, it's a great magazine, though. Like I said, a bunch of my articles are in there, and uh, I read every month. So purchase that if you want to help them out as well. Spread the word. Well, they're all over Austin, too. We put a lot of them on the street Yeah, here. I see them everywhere. Everybody's reading them. Absolutely. I'm walking in restaurants and some people are reading them almost everywhere I go. It's really having an effect. Okay, uh, sorry, caller. I wanted to talk to you, but your phone dropped out. Uh, we don't screen your calls. The guy's like, I want to give you money. And I'm like, click, <laughs> okay. Here. Get out here.
Uh, folks, we've got a lot of great products, books, videos, you name it. Things that support you, things that support us, win, win, win. And we've got the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 uh, that is now available at InfoWarsHealth.com. We've got the Pro Pure Water Filtration Systems. That purchase supports our broadcast. But most importantly, it gets you to not drink all the poison they're putting in the tap water. We'll be back with more of your phone calls. Straight ahead. Stay with us. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. I'm actually glad that the mainstream media, Anthony, is really starting to finally cover that there's license plate scanning cameras up everywhere. They're tracking everything we're doing. But people are now starting to say, hey, I want that for my trial, or I want to use that to prove I haven't done something. And they're like, oh, no, that's not for you. So it just shows how it's a totally rigged system. Uh, and we're now learning how hopelessly corrupt the system is. Do you think they'll get away with it? Um, no, I don't. And what's interesting is it shows that we've already won the fact that the mainstream media is forced to pick up on these uh, alternative news pieces, even though they do spin it and you know make it into their own kind of fake left right system, et cetera, et cetera. The fact is we've already won by making them cover it. And as far as this Orwellian system goes, just consider the fact that Verizon and T-Mobile are getting paid massive amounts of cash from the NSA and the FBI for letting them spy on your phone. So they have actually a public obligation as far as their shareholders are concerned to let the NSA and the FBI spy on people. They're getting like $500 a month to initiate a wiretap from the NSA. This is in a new report. And they're getting about $50 just for your little cell phone. They get about $50, more than you pay for your bill. They're getting from the NSA and the FBI to the point where it accumulates to about $500 million of revenue, profit, pure profit. They don't have to do anything for these companies, and they have about 90 employees. So I think Verizon had 30 or 90. And by the way, that's just when they want to finally use it in court or something. They're already spying on everything. Then they get the official FISA uh, roving you know, mass wiretap when they go to the next level. Sure, but this is a pure pro uh, profit motivation to spy on people. But also, yeah, they go directly to the servers for all this kind of stuff. And there's Oh, yeah, and, and they've been paid billions a year to put the grids uh, yeah. in the buildings. Let's go to a call here. Alan in Delaware, thanks for holding her on the air. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. I uh, just want to say that, uh, you know, Michael Hastings was on to something. Uh, look, the Beltway is swarming. Every third car in rush hour is basically a government agent right now. Um, you know the old saying, give people enough rope. Well, that's what they've done. And for the last 30 years, George Bush Sr. has been running this country. He's been running these psyops. I had two guys a few years ago move into my house. One was a listener, and the other one was working for Department of Homeland Security. And the bottom line is here, folks, the war is on the United States to shut us down, commingle us with the rest of the planet, turn us into bug specimen, and basically run our lives as bots to keep them validated. Um, no, no, it, it's the power trip of uh, they don't want anybody to be free or have their own business because then they're not in control. I mean, this is the takedown of America. You're absolutely right. Read Mein Kampf and you'll know what's coming. Read the New World Order and you'll know what's coming. Read the UN manuals, the Army manuals, you'll know what's coming. Cell phones, Facebook, all these social media. The mainstream media is doing a fantastic job keeping us asleep. And in that trance of everything's fine, even though your feet are on fire and your kneecaps are melting. Wow, this so, caller knows what he's I, talking about. We've got to get out of the trance. Where do you expect this to go? Because they, they, they say they're scientifically here to wreck everything and then, and then pose as the saviors. What do we do dealing with a group of criminals this hardcore? Well, we've got to fight fire with fire. That means that we have to go to Washington. We need to go on bright on the anniversary of Breitbart's death. I called for a March 1st talk later. Let's go sit down. Look, just 3 million people, 1% on the mall in D.C. are trying to get there. It's going to send the message we've come to talk. The bottom line is here, folks, we're 30, 40 years into the melting pot. It isn't a joke anymore. Look at this crud they're feeding children. A children under 10 years old. They're killing us, man. They're killing us. We'll be right back.
Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices. We bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. You know, continue with your phone calls in this segment uh, and the next, and, and, and then we'll also, Anthony, get into that story we haven't covered yet about using the army on the uh, organic food people. Or, or, you know, the, the FBI on the Amish, like they're bad to have their own milk. It's like, like they dress up in black uniforms, so then you're bad. You know, it's like, next, I'm wearing a black uniform. Being a father is evil. You know, I'm arresting you for being a father. Or breathing air. It, it's all like they're, 
Have you noticed what I'm talking about? It's almost like a dress up with government, like like they announce the fantasy and then we all play along with it. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird worship of, of this concept that anything they deem to be incorrect or wrong, and it's always, it's, they're always wrong. But anything they say, it's always you're a suspect. You, you, you. How, what do you say for yourself? Uh, yeah, or free American thinkers. They call themselves info wars. They make it seem so spooky and weird. Everything this. They say the government might not be trusted. Oh, how crazy! Yeah, exactly. Or they'll say they say that Russia has 160,000 troops ready for combat when it's actually happening 100. percent Or the commenters will be the the people buy into it too, though. They'll comment and say, there's no proof of this. When you link to CNN, you link to Israeli. Oh, no, it's like, here's the company that has the targets for children to shoot them. And here they are admitting Homeland Security ordered them. Shut up, liar. That They never do that. Yeah, it's almost like it. they obviously are the ones who are mentally ill and often on SSRIs and stuff like that. But then they're saying that we're crazy for literally, we could copy paste an article. Sometimes you guys post up articles from mainstream news and they insult you. They say, Alex, this is crazy. When at the top it's linked to CNN, they don't even know how to basically click on some stuff. And a lot of people are in forums, but the fact is that they'll trash us. It's, it's all perceived. It's fake perception. They can go on your site, InfoWars, right now, and there will be a, uh, an article up from a mainstream news organization and there will be comments. You can read where it says, Alex, you're making this up. You're crazy. Your writers are making this up when it's from a mainstream news source. Well, that's what may be made up is from them. But the point is, well, sure. is that a lot of those are trolls. They know it's real. Yeah. They'll just say that because it's their job. Sure, but there is a percentage of the population that literally buys into every single thing that the government says in the mainstream media, mouth propaganda, theater piece. What are they going to do as everything gets taken away from them? I think cling even more to the New World Orders? Yeah, I mean, so it, it's, it's as you always say, some Zimbabwean or whatever scams you, you're $90,000 in. It's, it's also marketing. I've studied marketing for pretty much all my life. The number one thing you do is you never make people think about the exit. You sell them something, and then when they're already invested in buying it, when they're about to click check out, for example, there must be no distractions. We're here blowing the whistle and saying all this kind of stuff, and they're trying to ignore us as much as they possibly can so that we don't get in their heads. I've had two people that I knew flip out and not associate with me when I said, listen, this Nigerian email scam is a scam. When you send Prince Abubu or Abipi or whatever it is, the $4,000, they'll say, oh, the prince is ready to talk to you. He needs 10,000 more. And it's like, the prince wants to talk to me? And yes. then, and then, and I go, okay, you're going to get ripped off. And then later they're like, you're just jealous that I know the prince. Well, how I go, did you get your money back? Shut up. I, I know Prince Abibi. Ah. How do you think they feel when they call the DHS and they think they're talking to Janet Napolitano, a high level? They're like celebrities because people worship celebrities. Now they worship government. It's the same thing. They call and they say, I saw someone who was doing something weird and they had an Infowars.com bumper sticker. Those are the same people. They feel the same way as if they're invested in, in this weird kind of system. And they think they are celebrities when they become it. Just like when you go to a show and you see someone in a rock concert, he's five feet away from me. That's how they feel when they snitch on you. It's a reflected glory. It's like the celebrity thing of SWAT teams, and everybody's got to be in a SWAT team. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it literally is a bunch of little kids toddling around doing whatever they want. And anyone else is racist. They're five years old. Their mind is so small. It's been it's been reduced. And then they just go, like, I don't like government-run health care. Racist. I don't want to turn my guns in. Racist. I think I want freedom. Racist. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. All right, in this segment, we're gonna run through some more of your phone calls with Anthony Gucciardi, writer, who's here with us in studio right now. And then I wanna get into an article he had out a few days ago uh, that is really creepy. Report, GMO activists and independent scientists targeted by U.S. military. Yeah, you didn't know the U.S. military is watching the Tea Party, everybody else domestically. It's totally illegal, but why not 
Just do it. I mean, why not? So secretly spying on us. So is having the CIA being involved in domestic propaganda. They were already doing it, but now, now it's out in the open. And now Rolling Stone says the guy that's pled not guilty is the bomber. It's just you just go directly to jail. And this just broke at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Federal court overturns block on NDAA indefinite detention. Americans can legally be kidnapped and held without trial. Hitler had laws he could do that. It doesn't mean they're lawful. Uh, and so land of the free, home of the brave, the only country in the world that actually has stuff like this on the books right now. North Korea doesn't have stuff like this on the books. Only land of the kidnapped, home of the fluoridated. Yeah, where the Constitution doesn't exist, as I said, in most major cities now, L.A., Houston, Philadelphia, from DHS, they, they actually said, we're going to review it. Okay, we're going to review it four years after we were requested to review it, when legally, under law, you have to review it within 90 days. But they did four years later, and they said, we determined that it's perfectly fine because the Constitution doesn't apply at the borders, which is a 100-mile zone throughout the entire United States, if you would imagine. Well, everything they're doing is okay because Obama is black. And if you don't, he's the government, so you're racist. Well, that's one thing that I don't know how we're going to beat, honestly. If they had a black female gay president, what can you do? You can't, I mean, Obama's bad, but can you imagine, uh, you can't insult Trayvon, anything about Trayvon. Wait, wait, what, what if it was a transvestite, black, white, uh, or no, 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 hermaphrodite. A hermaphrodite, a black, gay, there uh, you know, whatever, it, 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 someone like that. What are you going to do? You can't say anything. Because if you had an opinion on the drapes at the White House, that'd be racist. You can't, you're not allowed to judge characteristics. You're not allowed to judge achievements, uh, goals, ac anything, accomplishments. It's just if you saw a, herma a black and white hermaphrodite, you just fall down and... You better work. Well, wait, in England, they've got three parent babies now. Yeah. You could have like a 10 parent baby, like Asian, Hispanic, black, white, um, and, and, and then, and then part, part animal or something. Because then you're anti animal. If, yeah. if you if you don't like it. Yeah. Well, you know, it goes back to this whole thing. You're talking about laws that aren't actually legal. Well, the fact is the legal system, we can't really win with that. People ask all the time, why don't you just sue the government? Why don't you just sue the FDA? Why don't you sue the FBI? Whatever. The laws are written so everything they do... They're giving legal. GMOs immunity now. Yeah, they're giving GMOs immunity. And we'll talk about their report. Just imagine if they're classifying you as a terrorist, putting you on a watch list, surveilling everything you do. If you're against GMOs, which most people are, I mean, 92%, the 94%, of all the people in the United States, according to the Gallup polls, say they're in favor of at least GMO la labeling, let alone a ban. Well, they're 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 racist. That's low tier. I mean, they're obviously racist against, I guess, you know, who knows what GMOs. Well, they're racist against grasshoppers because they put grasshopper genes in some of the corn, and they put the, and and they put pesticides, a uh, bacterial pesticide grows naturally in it and kills the. I mean, that's racist I mean, against that's, that racist against bacteria. Sure, but that's nothing. Now they have bio farms. By 2017, it's going to be 17 billion dollar industry, according to analysts where they actually grow the AIDS vaccine, every single type of experimental vaccine in the crops, they say it's more efficient. And that openly blows around. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Which they course. admit could cause mass death, but if you're against that, you're racist. And the USDA... If you're against admit. abortion, you're racist. Yeah, if you're against abortion, which kills uh, you know hundreds of millions of black kids, specifically targets the black children, if you had, you've had the black genocide... That's spoken like a cracker racist. Yeah, of course, obviously, because we actually care about the black people. We care about the kids that are being killed. No, you want to kill Trayvon and, racist. And, and you know, when you... Cracker head, cracker head. Yeah, we can get into the whole abortion. Uh, one small, tiny fragment of it is when you allow the killing of these children, it allows these crazy people that we're talking about earlier that just are in love with this system, they don't care if it's after birth or not. Obama says after birth abortions are great. Well, they're now saying kill babies up to age three. You have to, and if you're against that, you're a cracker. So at what point is a life valuable? If we can get into that whole debate, at age 20, or is my life valuable? Most people, who knows? Obama would probably say no. Is your life valuable? At what age is a person... Hold on, put that article up. There's a cracker, a white guy trying to say that 60% of black babies are aborted. I thought it was 52%, but it's that, that's saying 60. I hear look at it. Up. He's a racist. I mean, obviously. Look, look at that racist. He's white. Get that racist. That, the FCC will shut us down putting a white person on TV. Oh, but what are you doing putting a racist on there? But you know when a black person says it, like the black genocide guy, he's a, he's a race hater. That's what it is. So he didn't want to kill blacks. He's racist. You can yeah. even be racist when you're black saying don't kill black people. That's racist now. If you're black, it's racist. Yeah. So it's, Planned Parenthood loves me. It's not racist, though. If you want to kill all the 60, you know, 100 million, whatever black kids, if you want that, that's good. Pierce Morgan, everybody uh, who supports that. Well, well, and now professor said uh, black people can't be racist, uh, says, uh, says, uh, kill, uh, kill the uh, white children. I mean, so what's wrong I, with that? He says, guess, that, says they need to die. 
white is white isn't a race. I mean, racist is the whole concept of being against a race, but apparently racist means what blackest. You can only be racist against black people. It doesn't make any sense. The whole privilege concept is immune to any form of logic, reason, or any foundation. And the whole here's the whole thing. It breaks down to this. We have a foundation of understanding, right? We have morals and principles to which we operate off of. Understanding of how the world works, the bankers work, and everything like that. And more importantly, we have fundamental morals that we follow. These people do not. They have no basis. So logic and everything and reason are not their guide. Their guide is pure emotional response to the mainstream media. Oh, by the way, they were just showing a thing the FBI put out. The 1969 uh, they, coloring book. That's racist. But that was also a false flag. Of course it was. But the FBI went in and they made it and they distributed massive amount of copies and then said it was the Black Panthers to discredit them and make them look racist when the FBI actually made the racist drawings. And they're racist on both So they could get rid of the real Black Panthers and then bring in the new Black Panther that works for them. That, of course, that go in and they start a bunch of conflicts and riots and everything like that. But if, if you saw the pictures... They show black people in a horrible light, and then all the white people are labeled pigs, and it says, good black children grow up to shoot whites, and it says all that kind of stuff. It says, uh, yeah, if, if you're afraid of uh, the pig, the white pig is afraid of black children because they are heroic <laughs> or whatever, and those are, uh, those, are real co those are coloring books for kids. Our government pays color. for that in Mexico, saying the U.S. belongs to Mexico, the white is a pig creature, Yeah, uh, Ford Foundation. So the government is actually racist, but we're racist. Well, they're saying. not. They want us fighting with each other. Sure. That's why course. they're flying around in jet copters and... You know, in, in 20,000 square foot condos, uh, you know, penthouses, and then telling the public, you're going to live in a 200 square foot thing. Well, they or you're against the earth, which is racist against the earth. Sure, well, they want to kill uh, everybody, but they obviously... But, but I mean, that's what that's all rates. about. People with, like, carbon stickers on their car. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're beating themselves on the head going, I'm racist, racist. It's all about a guilt complex. Well, look at all the movies, like, After Earth. Like, the whole concept that humans are just disgusting creatures and that... Uh, we, we are so evil that we have so much privilege and we need to understand that we need to go back to the environment by killing ourselves and having one child policies and stuff like that. It's all pushed to the point where if you go in Austin, Austin is a great place, but it's also a pretty bad place. I mean, you can go in some of these areas where they'll throw a brick through your car because it's not eco-friendly when the hybrids actually. Oh, no, that goes on big time. But, 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 but here's the issue. They've all destroyed California and they're fleeing here. Yeah. And they don't even know, and they literally go, you will do as I say. Or They come up to my wife and go, you shouldn't have three kids. Total cult members. And you're like, well, why have you evacuated here then? And then and they go, we made it nice. Uh, uh. And they don't understand California is bankrupt for a reason. They come here and they want to bankrupt Texas as well. Now, now you're being racist against Californians. Yeah, I've, Against trendies. Racist, the race that of California. They might as well like be a race. the ravings of a but, fascist. Uh, <laughs> it really does. I'm from Philadelphia, though. I'm not from Texas. I recognize the beauty of Texas, and I came here for a reason. I moved all my businesses here. I came here with everyone. That was racist. I, I, I encouraged every racist to come here. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's better. You know? Oh, man. Oh, hey, let's talk to Karen in Arizona. Karen, thanks for holding. You're on the air with some serious racist. Go ahead. In Wilmington, California. And I lived in Wilmington, and I, I was amongst the 93 riots. I worked for a fire shop in Carson, California, and it took three weeks before my, uh, uh, the owner or my boss, he would call and said, I have a white driver. Is it safe? They said no. It took three weeks before he felt comfortable and I felt comfortable to go into the areas. And I missed the L.A. riots by two hours. Well, Reginald Denny getting his head beat in. I mean, he was, a, of course, he was he, he was white. I mean, racist. I, I, the whole thing is stupid, though. But go, let the caller go ahead. Go ahead, ma'am. I'm sorry. We're being racist. It looked like a war zone. I've never seen anything like that. They even did devastation in Long Beach, California. I mean, and Inglewood and Hawthorne. And you know, and those neighborhoods have never recovered completely. I know. I, I know. Let me just say this. It's like, did you guys see that check? You're probably not. It's a check from a restaurant that's been going around lately. And it says tip, zero, no pay till justice for Trayvon. It, it's, it's this irrational, weird response, throw, blow, uh, blowing up, you know, private businesses, going to. Yeah, yeah, let's boycott Florida when it's more than half, quote, minority. What is that going to do? Fine. Stevie Wonder or whatever it is. Yeah, he's and, not going to play anywhere with Stand Your Ground. And then, of course, Bruce Springsteen, no talent. Like, 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 jumps on board and goes, I'm upset too. Just like, but, but you know, Jimmy Carter's being, he says the jury did the right thing.
Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad person. I guess self-defense is no longer valid now. I guess what's supposed to happen is if someone goes up and starts beating you, if they're a minority, you're just supposed to let them kill no, you. No, 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 That's racist. You're to slit your own throat. Before, you're to cover a double-edged dagger and then and then and then and then present it to them and then and then help them ram it into you. And his see Zimmerman's first mistake was he carried a concealed carry. That was his first mistake. He should have never... Well, that's racist. That's that's racist. He should have never thought... All gun ownership, Fox Sports has said, is racist. Well, Joe Biden... Unless it's the government just murdering blacks women, you know, uh, in mass with AFRICOM, then that's good. It's okay for the government, for the police to have weapons. But you know what's always an interesting question to these gun grabber people, too? They say all guns should be banned. Well, should the police have guns? Well, well, yeah, of course they should. By the way, we just showed a cartoon where they're now seeing neighborhood watch as the Klan. The Klan. I see that. Wow. Well, see, here's the deal. The, the the big city crime bosses want us all to live like they do in the bad areas of New York, Chicago, and D.C. I mean, they, this is their system. Well, notice the Klan guy was white also. Zimmerman is not even white. I, it, the whole, where it, We mentioned this earlier, but where the heck are the Hispanics? They're being destroyed here. They're, they're being targeted. Zimmerman is the Hispanic that is being targeted as a white guy. So... So are all Hispanics white? Are, are black people the only minority? Is racism not even real unless it's against a black person? Well, that's because you're being racist. Um, all right, enough of that, folks. Hey, thank you so much for coming in, bro. Great job with what you're doing. Um, Anthony Gucciardi uh, with us. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.